G'day team, Adam Kogan here from SSW TV and today we are talking about doing our work right and having all our systems integrate nicely. And there's just a few little tips you need to know to make it all work. The first thing is to use a CRM. Dynamics is a good CRM. And then you need to have all your work uh, in a collaborative system. Teams is awesome. And then you need a backlog. You can use GitHub, Azure DevOps, Trello, and lots of other ones. And then, you know, we also track all our time in TimePro. So the most important field in your CRM, and in this case, the Dynamics uh, UI here, is to add an extra field, the Teams URL. And when you click on this, it will pop open to uh, the team, and you can see here we are in the team Northwind, client-Northwind. You can see some conversations going on. You can see in the Files tab, that we will see important emails, uh, documents for the specification review, and other technical documents. And then there is a link here that gives you a link into your backlog, and you know that could be an Azure DevOps backlog or a uh, GitHub backlog um, or Trello. And then there is a kind of recursive link which is allowing you to get back to your CRM system, which is the view we just saw then. So uh, that is the whole kit and caboodle. We've just seen over in Teams, you can see your backlog from there. And of course, when you're putting items in there, you should be using app mentions. When you're using app mentions, the right people are being informed. But I wanna talk about how you uh, hook this thing up. You can simply just put a field there, create the team, and then paste the URL here. Or you can sprinkle a little bit of sunshine onto your Dynamics model-driven app. Um, and the way you do that is by using a PCF control. These PCF controls are a little bit of magic and what they enable you to do if you wanna go the next, the extra piece is uh, you can make it so that the PCF control sits here. If the field is populated, it just shows it just as you're looking at it. Or if it's not created, it has a button here that says create the team. That will go off and fire a flow that will create the team with the exact right name. As we saw, it was called client dash and then the company name. And that way the teams don't get created with random names or inconsistent names and you don't have duplicates and the, the field gets automatically populated. All running with a simple flow and that works beautifully. So that is the key. Make sure that you have a team, you reference the team in your CRM system, and on the team, create the right tabs and everyone will work nicely together. So hopefully that was a useful tip. It's a little one, but a goodie in helping people work together and use all the systems nicely. Um, if you've got other ways of doing it or you disagree, put a comment down there. I'm always keen to learn. And this is Adam Kogan signing off for SSW TV.